Good afternoon, my name is Rafael Walker. I am a fellow with the American Hip Institute, and I will be presenting this study on behalf of Dr. Agui Lal and Dr. Benjamin Do. It is titled Perineal Pressure During Hypertroscopy Introduced by Routine Introduction of Trindelenburg. These are our disclosures. So the traction table with a perineal post is commonly used in hypertroscopy for joint distraction. Post-related complications have been reported between two and 30% with neurovascular injury to pudendal, the sciatic, and the perineal nerve uh, commonly reported, as well as compression-related injury to the soft tissues of the genitalia. Multiple techniques have been proposed to address these issues, such as the deflated beanbag, the skeletal distraction, and the post-free table, uh, which introduces the use of Trindelenburg. So the purpose of this study is to identify the pressure exerted by the perineal post during various inclinations in the modified supine position. Our hypothesis is that perineal pressure would be reduced through the introduction of Strindelenburg position. We analyzed 50 consecutive patients. Uh, we uh, placed a standard BP cuff secured to the perineal post as we measured pressure exerted on the perineum during traction. Different uh, positions were uh, measured, uh, 0, 5, 10, and 15 degrees of Trondelenburg, and this was done for every patient, but in a randomized order, to reduce the bias of ligament to stretching. Fluoroscopic guidance was used to assure a constant distraction during each measurement. So we found that significant differences between traction pressure at all positions of Trondelenburg was significant. There was a mean pressure drop of 13.1 millimeters of mercury, about 46%, between zero and 15 degrees of Trindelenburg, while traction was applied. Therefore, we conclude that the Trindelenburg positioning significantly reduces pressure at all positions beyond zero degrees. This is proportional to the degree of Trindelenburg, and gravity exerts the majority of the counter traction as opposed to the perineum. However, we do recommend retaining the perineal post as a backup patient stabilizer, but routine use of Trindelenburg may lead to a significant decrease in complications related to the traction and the perineal pressure. Thank you.